guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to open the microscope. So guys, we're going to open up this microscope. And the high resolution can go up to is 100x. And it comes with 36 pieces. Let's see what's in this microscope. Okay, okay so this comes in a set like that. It's like an egg carton. <laughs> yes, and it's got a instructions like manual as well. We made the okay, so let's just check out what things we have in here. So it comes with a microscope. So it requires two times a batteries, which will go down here. Comes with a pair of tweezers. A steering rod. A steering rod. A pipette. Like rod for my a magnifying glass. When I look to it, it looks. Oh my god, it looks so weird. <laughs> it looks so. These are the two vials. No, these are the piggy potions. Those are the piggy. Slides, and there's some prepared slides in here as well. Um, it comes with slide covers and some labels in here. And there's a spear bulb in this. So here's the microscope. That's the eyepiece. That's the body tube. So these are the knobs. The lenses as where the slides go. Um, I've just put the batteries in. So battery case is down here, and we have our mirror just underneath here. Down over here, you have the revolving colored filters. So as you can see, changes colors. So you can see any specimen using these ones as well. It's very lightweight and um, it's pretty easy to use for home. So the most important part of the microscope are its lenses. Um, handle them with care because they can become dirty or dusty. And make sure you never clean with your fingers or a tissue paper. Always use a soft cotton cloth to clean them. The, um, the kit did not come with a cotton cloth so we have to just get our own. If you're not going to use your microscope for a week or more, make sure you remove the batteries. Don't leave the batteries in here. Also protect your microscope from dust and moisture. So after using, put it back in the box. So something really important to note as well, after using your microscope, maybe you have used some specimens and things, make sure you wash your hands with soap and water. Also wash away any tools or accessories which you have used to prepare specimens as well. And always please make sure that you handle with care when you're inserting the slides in here. And, um, I, and adult supervision should be required at all times. So on the microscope, we have a 50x 25 and 100 to look through so what i'm gonna do is it's gonna point it through here it's gonna remove that and we're gonna look through the prepared slide we have the wall so we're gonna look through that in the microscope so always be careful when placing it in here it's very it's it's sort of like it's very smooth it's very smooth and just slides it's in it's like that. Okay, so just gonna have a look through. Now it's a surprise, Ryan. So Sorry. here we have the adjustables as well, so you can make it go down to have a closer look, or just. Put it up. So that's the wall, guys. They look like strands of hair or something. That's the wall. What can you see? I can just see little sticks. Okay, and the next one we're gonna look is the fern root. I think I'm gonna see the front door. Our front door. So, guys, if you can see our fern root. good kids but 
the least you can see it. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed our review on this microscope and I would highly recommend for anyone using <coughs> this at home, especially with the little ones exploring little things. And um, next week we have planned to look at some xylem and phloem under the microscope. And yeah, catch you in the next video. Bye for now. I wrote LOL.